Hey everyone, I am Annika and welcome to my channel. If you have been around for a bit, you might remember that a few videos ago I had a lot of fun playing with patterned plywood. I took a bunch of scrap plywood from my pile and turned them into these gorgeous patterned plywood panels. And then I took those panels and one of them I turned into a Lazy Susan. So today we're going to dive into all the details you need to know to make your own Lazy Susan using patterned plywood. So let's get started. Let's quickly recap making the patterned plywood. I ripped the scrap sheets of plywood into strips. The table saw is set at one and an eighth of an inch. This width will determine the final thickness of the board, which I want to be at an inch. So I added an extra eighth of an inch to account for loss during planing and sanding. Next up was the glue up. I arranged the strips to distribute the pattern evenly and staggered them at 45 degree angle to minimize the material wastage and glued them up overnight. The next day I chiseled off any glue drips that I could and then I sent it through the planer to get it nice and even. Now for the chevron pattern. I used my crosscut sled on the table saw set at 45 degrees and made the first pass. Then I used that edge and set my table saw fence at 2 inches and went ahead and cut down the entire sheet into strips. It is very important to make sure that the strips remain in sequence to get the right pattern in the end. To make the chevron, I simply turned over every other strip and that is a chevron pattern. I went ahead and glued it up, let it dry overnight, and then the next day sent it through the planer. And we have the chevron panel. Now we need to cut out a circle from this for the Lazy Susan. To do this, I put together a simple circle jig using my palm router. Essentially, I took off the plate that comes off very easily with the screws, traced that plate onto a one by four board and made the holes. The screws need to be countersunk from the other side. And then I went ahead and attached the board to the router. Basically, we just replaced the plate with this board. Now, I measured and marked the center of the board and the radius of the circle I wanted. I made a hole at the center point using a nail. And then I transferred the radius of the circle onto the router jig, measuring from the router bit. This is going to be the center of the circle, so I pre-drilled and added nail into it. Now I drilled a starter hole at the edge of the radius, which is large enough for the router bit to go through. I added a nail into the pivot point and started routing out the circle. After every rotation, I simply lowered the router bit by about a sixteenth of an inch in the original hole and then went around again. And I just repeated the entire process until I had the circle. And then I repeated this entire process again with a 1x10 board to cut out the bottom circle as well. Finally, I gave the circles a little bit of finish sanding. I applied finishing oil onto this chevron to pop the color of plywood. On the smaller circle, I simply went ahead and primed and painted it black. Now, since I intended this to be a serving platter, Lazy Susan cheese board thing, I decided to apply food contact safe epoxy finish. To do this, I taped the back side of the circle to protect it from the drips and then I mixed and poured a crystal clear epoxy on the top. 
I am using Maker Poxy by Total Boat and it is food contact safe after it has completely cured. So once the epoxy had cured overnight, the drips on the back side could simply be removed by removing the tape. Now it's time to attach the Lazy Susan hardware. The hardware has two plates, one with two holes on each corner and one with a single hole. The plate with the single hole is attached to the top. I measured the distance between the holes and divided that in half to find the radius. I set up my compass at that radius and drew a circle using the original nail hole as the center point. Ignore that first circle because I made an error in setting up my compass. So then once that is fixed, now we need two perpendicular lines through the circle. The first line is pretty easy. It is any line that goes through the center point. For the second line, we are going back to our fifth grade geometry. I set up the compass larger than the radius and then with each end of the line as a pivot point drew intersecting arcs. Now align through this intersection and the center is a perpendicular line. And that gives us the four points where the lines and the circle intersect. And these should line up with the holes in the plates. I repeated the process with the bottom circle, but this time we are using the small holes on the corners as our reference. I drilled holes through the bottom circle and also drilled countersunk holes from the other side. Now let's get back to the top. I pre-drilled and attached the plate to the top using 3 quarter inch wood screws. The black circle attaches to the little holes in the plate, which can be a bit challenging. I had a little bit of a hard time aligning each of the holes. And finally, I found that the best way to do that was to add in all the screws and then drop it in. So as soon as I aligned one screw, all of them fell into the correct spot. And then I just tightened them all up. I thought that the movement wasn't smooth, so I went ahead and added some WD-40 to the ball bearings. And that is it. Here is the Chevron Lazy Susan. It makes a great gift, decor, or cheese plate. And the best part is that I only used scrap wood to make this. I love giving all the little scrap wood pieces new life and purpose. This project barely made a dent in my scrap wood pile. And I am super obsessed with pattern plywood now, so you can safely assume that there are going to be many more such projects in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you aren't already, please do hit that subscribe button because I have some more fun projects coming very soon.